Alright, greetings web fans. Welcome to Ernie Ball TV. We're out here uh, in Pomona, California, War Tour 2009. We have the luxury of hanging out with uh, none other than the one and only Sarah Saturday. Alright Sarah, so why don't you tell us a little bit about the work you've been doing with EarnItYourself.com. Um, EarnItYourself.com is a website that I have been like dreaming about building for maybe seven years. Um, and uh, at first it was just an idea, it was based on, um, I came up with the name EIY or Earn It Yourself based on the do it yourself or DIY philosophy mm -hmm. of the punk underground music scene, which has been around forever. And um, when I was in my old bands, it was kind of like, you know, I, I would see, especially in my case, but in my friends' bands too, um, we'd be working super hard and, and applying the, the do it yourself method, but we kind of had, you know, like we would get big shows or we would get, you know, I'd signed to a label, an indie label, or I got an endorsement for my band and I worked really hard to get those things, but a lot of people who um, were strictly DIY, um, you know, said, like, that doesn't, you, you move, you're kind of selling out, or you're oh, moving okay, beyond yeah. the DIY thing. So I was like, there needs to be happy medium, because I'm, okay, I'm, I'm yeah. DIY at the heart and, mm -hmm. I, and I totally love the philosophy, but there needs to be a way for bands to be able to earn the right to, to do whatever they want to do. Yeah, definitely. So I kind of came up with this idea of earning it yourself, which is applying the do-it-yourself method and, mm -hmm. and and working, you know, in the underground to build it up the right way and and, and make sure that you're not, uh, you know, sacrificing it, uh, or, or I guess it, compromising your integrity in any way to try to get something that you haven't earned. You've got to work for what you yeah. for what you want. And so the idea kind of like evolved and evolved, and I would talk to a lot of people about it, and I was like, I, I should write a book, or I should, I don't know what to do. And then I thought about this website idea, and I approached. Um, Ernst, who was uh, running the BYOFL website, which to date had been the only uh, website with a do-it-yourself listings, uh -huh. um, which was it was based on a zine that was put up by Maximum Rock and Roll years ago. So um, I approached him and I was just like, here's my idea, here's his philosophy, Let, I really want to build a website, maybe we could team up. And he was totally stoked and uh, we partnered and I brought in my other partner from my company. And so we launched this site in like 2000 six ish started rolling it out yeah. but the whole idea behind the site is it's for bands to basically learn the philosophy and learn about the industry from the point of view of like um you know you're a company you're a startup company you need to know what your values are as a group as a yeah. company you need to know what you stand for what you believe in you need to uh you know stick to those values um plan your career plan your goals mm -hmm. uh, and try to achieve your goals by your own means as much as you can all right, Sarah, so I hear Ernie Ball's doing a little promotion with uh, EarnieYourself.com. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it's, that? It's the raddest thing ever. I will tell you all about it right now. <laughs> um, Kevin approached me with the brilliant idea of um, once a month kind of going through the site and finding a band on there that's super active and booking shows and helping other bands and writing articles and you know, contributing to the scene and contributing to the website and um, kind of just a really good example of what the EIY philosophy is all about. And um, to help them out, he came with the idea of um, the E squared promotion, which is teaming up with uh, Ernie Yourself and uh, Ernie Ball, finding that band once a month, kind of promoting them on the site, we put them on the homepage, we, um, you know, we announce them on our podcast, we have a weekly podcast, we announce them, we play their stuff, we call them up, mm -hmm. um, and then they get a bunch of rad stuff for any while, they get like guitar, custom guitar picks with the EIY logo on one side and their band logo on the other, and they get strings, and they get, um, their song gets played on the Ernie Ball radio for like six months, and they get MySpace promotion, and they get all kinds of crazy all stuff, which is huge, stuff, yeah. and especially for bands that are touring, mm -hmm. and can't, mostly, can barely afford strings, yeah. can barely afford anything, and, and so we try to find bands that are about to go on the road or on the road that mm -hmm. need um, the promotion while they're out and the supplies and stuff, and then um, and then they get featured on the homepage of the site for months. Nice. Yeah. Welcome to Ernie Ball TV. Andrew here, we're on the Warp Tour 2009, and we're here hanging out with Less Than Jake. Why don't you guys introduce Ow! yourselves for those people out there? Uh, my name's Chris, I play guitar and sing for Less Than Jake. Uh, my name's Roger, I play an Ernie Ball Sterling bass guitar, and I also sing. Well, there you go, that's who we are. <laughs> 
Well, anyways, guys, we're out here on the Warp Tour. You guys have been playing this for a while now. How many times have you actually been out here on Warp Tour? I can tell you if you give me two seconds. Uh, no, I already know. No, you don't. I do. I counted the other day. In '97, we did. We did a couple weeks. '98. No, no, no. Hold on. We gotta go like full. Yeah, just calling, counting full entire Warp oh, Tour. '99, 2001, 2003, 2006. Four times. Plus. Uh, Australian Warp Tour and uh, the Europe. European Warp Tour plus this year. This is our seventh full Warp Tour, wow. but we've done bits and pieces of five more. Jeez, wow. So out of the 17 Warp Tours, it's the 15th year, but there was two foreign ones. Out of the yeah. 17, we've been on 12. If that makes any sense. Well, we're here on Ernie Ball TV, so I gotta ask, what do you guys think of Ernie Ball? Well, you know what I think. Ernie Ball totally rules. Um, I would not play any other bass instrument ever. Um, strings are ripping. Guys are awesome. The vibe is awesome. The logos are awesome. You know what I mean? Like everything, the art, the vibe. I don't know, man. I love awesome. it. Awesome, yeah, definitely. I'm an Ernie Baller for life. I'm over it. I concur with what he says. So you play Sterling, right? Absolutely. I have uh, since. Actually, the truth about that is it was on the Warp Tour. Really? About 10 years ago was when um, I played my first Sterling because I just had like a knockoff bass before that, like I bought in a pawn shop. And someone was like, oh, have you ever played one? You were on the Warp Tour and you guys were sponsoring. And I was like, oh, try it, you know? And it was a blue one, and it was awesome. And I never let anyone take that bass away from me after that. So. Awesome. So yeah. you haven't looked back since. Except the time that away. I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gave it back to me for Christmas. It was right. awesome. Nice. Well, I heard a little rumor that uh, you guys actually have played the Ernie Ball stage before. I know you're on the main stage right now. Yes, we have really played. We played the Ernie Ball stage a couple times. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know uh, where it was, but yeah. I want to say Detroit. I think it was Detroit where yeah. we did that. We came out and played, played some. Yeah, there was like a band canceled or something on the oh, Ernie Ball yeah. stage, and we were just kind of, you know, we played early that day. We had, had some energy left over, so yeah, I think we did a, like a random, you know, all request kind of set yeah. under another name on the Ernie Ball stage or something. It was pretty awesome. So there was like thirty people there, so like nobody knows who the hell this band is because we just <laughs> made up the name like you know ten minutes before. So like people walk by, they're like, "Holy shit, that's awesome!" <laughs> yeah, do you remember cool. what the band name was? Yes, I do. I believe it was the shits. The shits. The, the, shit. the shits. <laughs> do you think we could uh, ever see a recurrence of the shits? Maybe this year. <laughs> yeah, I'd be down for that. That'll be fun. You know, go over there, play some weird songs. I think if uh, yeah, if Ernie Ball would let us invade their stage, or if someone cancels one day or something, or if there's some time, we would gladly don our shitty uniforms and take the stage again. <laughs> Watch Dirty Ball TV. Balls up.